For more videos visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, let's do this uh, problem which says determine the magnitudes of the components of the force F, which is 56, along and perpendicular to the line AO. So basically they're telling you that there's a component of this force going along AO, which is going uh, along, which is parallel, and perpendicular will be this one, forming this right triangle right here. So they want you to find these two forces. So the first thing we need to do is uh, find the coordinate, the coordinates of all the points involved. So let's start with A. A sits at negative 1.5i plus 3j plus 1k. B sits at 0i plus 0j plus 2k. Now O sits at the origin. 0 plus 0j plus 0k and I'm not going to bother with uh, uh, c because um, c is not really involved in this and actually this is not b this is d and I'm not going to bother neither with c nor with b because they're not really doing anything so we got a d and the origin so vector a d uh, sorry, d can be found by subtracting vector d minus vector a and it comes out to be 1.5i minus 3j plus 1k. The magnitude of this vector a d is found by doing the square root of the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square. So when you plug in these three values into this formula you get that the magnitude is equal to 3.5. Once you have the magnitude of uh, AD, you can find the univector AD, which is this tiny vector right here with a magnitude of 1. The univector going along AD can be found by dividing the vector AD by its magnitude. So dividing these three values by 3.5 gives you the univector which comes out to be 0.429i minus 0.857j plus 0.286k. Now that you have the univector, you can find the Cartesian vector for form of f because you have the magnitude, which is 56 newtons. So the Cartesian vector form is found by multiplying the magnitude by the univector going along, going along AD. So multiplying these three values by 56 gives you the Cartesian vector form of f, which is 24i minus 48j plus 16k. So that's the Cartesian vector form of f. Now we need to find the vector AO. The vector AO is found by subtracting O a from O. So it's basically going to be the opposite of A because O is 0, 0, 0. So it's going to be 1.5i minus 3j minus 1k. Now the magnitude of this vector found with the same formula comes out to be 3.5 also. You can tell by symmetry that it's going to be the same magnitude. And the univector going along AO is found by dividing the vector AO by its magnitude. So dividing these three values by 3.5 gives you the univector we're looking for. And it comes out to be 0 0.429 minus 0 0.857 minus 0 0.286k j i. So if you wanted to find this force right here which is going along AO and it's the component of F, all you gotta do is F dot the univector AO. You know F to be 24i minus 48j plus 16k and you know the univector AO which, are, which is found to be 0.429i minus 0.857j minus 0.280k. So 24 times 0 0.429 
comes out to be 10.3 plus negative 48 times point negative 0.857 is positive 41.1 and 16 times negative 0 0.280 comes out to be negative 4.58 so when you add this up you're going to get that is equal to 46.8 and that is this vector right here let me redraw this right here and this triangle is going to look something like this this is the one which is found which is 46.8 this is the one we're missing This is a right triangle and this is the force which is 56 newtons. So this is this. So you got two sides of a triangle, you're missing one. So this calls for the Pythagorean, Pythagorean theorem, which says that, let's call this x x squared plus 46.8 square is equal to 56 square so when you solve for x you're gonna get that this is equal to 30.75 so this is 30.75 30.75 is the perpendicular component of F in regards of AO and 46.8 is the parallel component that goes along AO of the force which is 56 newtons. Final answer, final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.